<laughs> oh, look at There's this. There's a ton of this. What have you done, <gasps> okay. Corey Keeley, back in the kitchen? So grapefruit right now and through the winter is my little savior. I love it. It makes me feel like I'm going to a tropical place. It's juicy. It's hydrating. I love it so much. My grandparents, it also reminds me of growing up because my grandparents would order cases of it from Florida and those. it would come in and then you go, okay, now what do I do with all this besides just cutting it up? So what I like to do when I'm buying my grapefruit, first of all, let's start with what do you look for when you're buying a, a grapefruit? You wanna make sure it's from Florida. Uh, these grapefruits get over 3,000 hours of sunshine a year. So you just think about the goodness of sunshine in you. Um, look for Florida. You wanna pick it up and make sure it feels heavy for its size. Okay, mm -hmm. because if it's light, it might mean that it, it's past its prime, um, but these are all really in season, so it's full of water, so it's really good. Uh, then you would look, and this, you might see these blemishes and go, oh, that's, you know what that is? It's nothing, it's all superficial. It's the wind whipping the branches, hit it, and it oh, makes really? these marks. These are just that's marks, it. they're very superficial. You don't have to worry about it, you will, but you wanna make sure there's no deep cuts or something in it. Um, and that's basically how you do it. To store it, you can store it on your counter. They're best before you're gonna eat them to leave them out to let them warm up because then they're more juicy. You can keep them in the fridge, but because they take up some space in your fridge, I like to buy a lot of them and then I segment them. Okay, so it takes maybe 15 minutes of your day and you can be eating grapefruits for the week. And it's such a good snack. You're getting all your vitamin C in a half a grapefruit or in an eight ounce glass of orange, of not orange juice, juice, or orange juice, or grapefruit juice. But when you're buying your juice, make sure it says 100% pure juice, gotcha. okay? So we're gonna cut this up. So to segment a uh, grapefruit, I like to use a serrated edge knife just because I know it's gonna cut through. You could also use a very sharp knife, but you're just gonna cut off the ends and don't worry about the white too much. And then you're going to turn on its on its on the cut side, and then you just basically run your knife down the side, and you'll get a this sense. This is the same way you do your watermelons. Yeah, as I, I have learned from you because that's now how I do my watermelon. I love it. This is and so you've got these in your fridge for the week. You can do so much besides just eating them. So what are we like going to do with it? Bowl. Because a lot of people tend to cut it, they scoop it out, and they put a little bit of sugar on, and they scoop it with a spoon, and that's how they eat it in the morning. Yeah, and that's you can do that. That is the way to go. But this, and you can cook with. I'm going to show you how to make a really quick little salsa with it. Mm -hmm. And so then I'll just cut off this white stuff. But basically you hold it over a bowl because it's going to be super, super right. juicy. And you want that juice. And then you're just going to run your knife down the sides of the uh, membrane. And you just pop it out. And then at the end, you're not wasting because you just squeeze out all that delicious juice in there. So you've got the juice. So you, don't, you could just be pouring that into mm -hmm. a glass and drinking it. Okay? So then, look, so I've done that. So we've done so that. So I've done like eight of them and it gives you eight cups or more of grapefruit. So what I'm going to do then is use these ones that I segmented and I'm going to make a little salsa. I have some uh, onion, red onion, mm -hmm. some red pepper, avocado and grapefruit go so beautifully together. So you can just cut up an avocado and then you just take some segments and chop them up. This goes beautifully with fish. You can put it on a sandwich. It's like a salsa, you could have a little bit of crackers and do like a bruschetta with it, but it's just an alternative and it's just the bright, bright, bright flavors of it. Do you like, are you a grapefruit girl? Yeah, I, I love grapefruit and I love avocado, so I'm really looking forward to this combination right now. Oh, it's fabulous. Um, the other thing we're going to be making in the next segment will be um, fish tacos. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need grapefruit juice for those. You need, uh, we're gonna make an avocado drizzle. So there's a combination, avocado and grapefruit go beautifully together. So just chopping this up lightly mm -hmm. and toss it in and then maybe a little bit of salt and pepper. You could put some mint in, you could put some cilantro, you could put some jalapeno, but you don't even really need it. Like it's and just, really that's, it's just that. So you can just throw that on no. top. So you're either using this to serve up with a dish, which we could do yeah. or, which, with some of the fish that we're going to see later, or literally this, could, like this. this could be a little salad for you. Yep. And so for our drizzle that we're going to do, we're going to use some of the juice out of there. You need about a quarter cup of grapefruit juice. And then you're gonna put in a bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, and then you're gonna put in some avocado pieces. I'm just tossing in this little blender that I have, but you could do this in a big blender. And this is gonna be a nice creamy drizzle that we're gonna put on our fish taco. There's no, like it's all goodness in a little dish. So you just put that on there, on here, blend it up, and then we'll be, we'll be putting this on our tacos. So we're gonna see that coming up in the next segment. Yep. Uh, we gotta take a commercial break because yep. we're trying to get to the kids' birthdays. That's happening right at the top of the hour, the eight o'clock on your Saturday morning.